Okay, so let's start. What is going on? I will not speak to make a broadcast that is not being viewed with free software. Please don't watch this on your MacBook. <laughs> when I was a PhD, I failed all of my essays. It said clearly, this essay is useful, but without warranty. Uh, yes, uh, supply with tea and milk. Uh, tea with milk and sugar would be nice. If it's a tea I really like, uh, without milk and sugar, please. Can you tell me what's in there? I will have to reject that drink. The Pepsi is also closed recipe. No, leave the Pepsi. When I did start using Ubuntu-based distros, after about four years, I decided to use Mint and its vastly superior cinnamon desktop. I am back on PC Linux OS, which I ran a lot in the early 2010s because I was never a fan of uh, System D. Now let me tell you, slow boot time. Ubuntu needs almost twice as long to boot as MX Linux, and thrice as long as Puppy Linux, and four times as long as Slytas, and five times as long as user unfriendly. When I tried logging in uh, into Ubuntu for the first time, Ubuntu kept rejecting my password. Probably there was something wrong with the keyboard, settings being defaulted, or I just forgot it. Whatever, it was awful. Growing frustrated, I switched to Kali Linux. Kali Linux also had problems, like the sound not working out of the box. But these things were easily to fix with one or two weeks of internet searches. After a few years of internet searches, the display started blinking. Kali Linux started screen flickering. Screen not appearing when opening my laptop. Laptop not appearing when opening my stream. So then I obviously switched to MX Linux. Obviously, then after getting the light taste of the lightweight distro, mm, I decided to go minimalist and switch to Pop OS. Then I joined the North Korean friendship organization, switched to Red Star OS. I'm not gonna lie, it's a great OS. No need to worry about encryption certificates, as HTTPS is forbidden. I won't forget my password, I can just ask the government. I left because it has some spyware deep inside, but it's done pretty elegantly. It doesn't bloat the OS, Microsoft has something to learn here. Then I went to Cuba, switched to Nova, now I am in China, I am using Kylin. Your country is only ever truly free if it has its own OS. I should declare my own state, I mean OS. Then I watched too much Nickelodeon, switched to Hannah Montana OS. Weird distro, still better than Windows. Luckily taste changed. I switched to Bibian. Of course on servers, I still use rail-based distros, but I do still have Peppermint OS. Then when Bitcoin rallied, I switched to Lambo OS, had some health problems, switched my diet, went for Coconut OS, but that wasn't good for me. So now I'm using Papaya OS, a distro for each personality. Why not? What's with the hat? It's a fedora. Now I'm using Gen2. It's the only true Linux. I mean GNU slash, I mean GNU pl why is this so hard? I am the open RC gang. As a contrarian, I have extreme opinions despite being educated. I spend a lot of time on 4chan. I don't want to hear more about the virus. No, I use Linux. I mean GNU Linux. I mean, that's how I boot my PC nowadays. Ah, it's like the sound of a Diet Pepsi. Oh, what do I use nowadays? Oh, is that a question? I use art, by the way. Rolling basses. Never breaks like most people say. What is going on?